What do you need to know about mouthwash? Do I recommend it to my patients? And would I advise you to use it? It is patient specific, just like a lot of other things that I say. Mouthwash is beneficial to help remove the plaque bacteria from the mouth. There are some individual patients that I do recommend it to more on a daily basis. If you have a lot of sugar in your diet that can cause tooth decay, if you're not brushing correctly or the right amount of time of days, if you are wearing braces, if you have fixed appliances, people with implants, misaligned teeth, then I would recommend mouthwash on a daily basis. If you are prone to tooth decay because of the things maybe I've already mentioned, then I would again recommend it. Um, I do recommend mouthwash that does not have alcohol in the ingredient. Uh, the fluoride content in mouthwash is 225 ppm, which stands for parts per million. So it's a lot lower than your toothpaste. If you are using toothpaste with fluoride present in it, usually it's around 1350. So you want that higher concentration fluoride that's present in the toothpaste to go into your teeth and help become part of the makeup of the teeth to help protect them from decay. So if you are using mouthwash, you want to be using it either separate to brushing or before brushing, not straight after. Ideally, you would want 30 minutes perhaps either side. There's a benefit, benefit to using the mouthwash separately. You're getting that extra fluoride at a separate, separate time of day in between brushing and just helping sort of move everything around. So that would be the ideal situation. But if you do want to do it in the same routine while you're brushing, then do it before, not straight after. However, some mouthwashes, it does change that rule. The one in particular is a mouthwash that contains um, chlorhexidine. So that might be a Corsidil mouthwash or a Curacept mouthwash. These types of mouthwashes containing chlorhexidine are very, very good for people with gum disease and gum problems. However, it only works on a clean tooth surface and without an ingredient called SLS, which stands for sodium lauryl sulfate present in most toothpastes. It is not present in a lot of the Sensodyne ranges and Corsodil do their own toothpaste, which is recommended to use with the Corsodil mouthwash and that does not contain the SLS. That is the only rule where mouthwash changes where you would brush your teeth first with a non-SLS toothpaste, then you would use the mouthwash. Uh, uh, normally that's a, not a daily use unless you're specifically using a Corsodil daily. It's very strong, very good for the gums, but not for permanent use. So please check with your dental professional how long you should use it for. It's usually around three to four weeks after treatment. The Corsodil does cause, the chlorhexidine does cause staining, so also be aware of that if that is the mouthwash you are using. Then Curacept have a patent um, ingredient that they put in there which blocks that staining and it does reduce it, so that is something else you can consider if you don't want to be worried about the staining side of things. So that's where we stand on mouthwash. Separate to brush in, if it doesn't have chlorhexidine in it, use a alcohol-free mouthwash and it is beneficial, but I don't necessarily recommend it to every single patient that I see. I, I assess the patient and then I decide whether I think that they would benefit from using a mouthwash. It is an adjunctive, so that means it's something that's used in addition to everything else you're doing brushing twice a day for two minutes and cleaning in between your teeth at least once a day. It is not a replacement of brushing or cleaning in between your teeth. Be happy, be healthy and have a lovely rainy Tuesday.